Okay, you have to admit it, that's pretty amazing. Not as amazing as me, but that's still pretty amazing. Uh, that's made from Kinex. Uh, it was a kit that came out many years ago. It's called the Hyperspace Training Tower. There's two different versions. I, I made the smaller one this time. I've made the bigger one in the past. I think I had it like my first Sunday here at, at New Danville. And they figured out what kind of a toy lover I was right away. Uh, and I really enjoy this. I mean, I'm a simple soul. You know, it all runs off one motor. It's got gears, so everything's animated. And it's just a lot of fun. And it reminds me of 1 Corinthians 12. It's what I want to talk to you about today. Uh, the book of Corinthians, Paul is answering some questions that they had sent to him, uh, the church at Corinth. And in chapter 12, he's, he's talking about the spiritual gifts, these gifts that God's given them. And in verse 7, he says, you know, a spiritual gift has been given to each of us so that we can help each other. In other words, the gifts that were given by God, they're not just for us, they're to help each other. They're there to share, to make each other's lives better. So we all have these gifts and, and they're all different. Uh, just like this tower has many parts that are all different. In verse 12, he says, the human body has many parts, but the many parts make up one whole body. And what he's saying is all these different parts, the, these different gifts that God has given to the church, uh, they all come together to work as one. Uh, just like this tower does. It's many parts, but when you put them all together, it, it makes something really neat. Uh, now, what's interesting about it is it, it does have many different parts, and they each serve a different function. And any of the parts that go missing affect the tower. Now, it, it can be different depending on what part it is. I mean, if I took one of the gears right out of the middle, yes, yeah, certain parts of it would stop right away. But every part uh, has an impact. Uh, if I take out this, this red rod here, the tower doesn't stop right away, but everything is kind of askew now. And over time, it's putting more and more stress on the other parts. It's going to wear them out, and eventually the thing would probably collapse. So while it's not readily apparent at first, this missing piece is having an impact on the whole. It's the same way in the church. When we're not all using our gifts, it has an impact. And you might not see it right away, and you might not think it's a big impact, but there is an impact. We all have an important part to play. Uh, and, and some parts seem more important than others, uh, but that's not necessarily true. Sometimes we don't understand the value of, of the gifts that we have. Um, once again, you see the different parts in here, and, and we have the bigger gears, and they seem very important. And we've got other small parts. I mean, I used parts from this box, they're all different, and they have a different purpose. Now, I know what you're thinking. Robert, you really keep all your parts in the box and you keep them organized? Yes, I do. Don't judge. But each of these parts are valuable. Yet once again, you need the gears to make everything turn. But even this little yellow part here, if I didn't have the yellow parts, the whole tower wouldn't be held up, and then the gears couldn't do their work. So they all have a place in this body, in this machine. And while, yes, it could run without some of them, it's so much better when we have all of them. And that's how it is in the church. You know, whatever parts you play, it's valuable and you make the church that much better. And that's why it grieves me when some people say, well, I don't really need to be a church. I don't have to be there. Well, but the church is better when you are there. And it really helps. And let me tell you this. If you read 1 Corinthians 12, and I hope that you will, I'd like you to continue on in the 1 Corinthians 13, two chapters, go crazy, you know? Because there Paul says, you know, despite all these other special gifts, the greatest gift of all is love. If you can love, you've got the greatest gift. You can make an impact on the lives of others. And I hope that that's what you'll do, especially during this time where we really can't get together because of, of the virus that's going on. We still need to reach out to each other in some way. Maybe it's, it's an email or a letter or, or a phone call to somebody that was in your class or, or somebody that, that sat down the aisle from you or just somebody in your neighborhood you know that, that might need to be lifted up. You know, everyone right now is a little bit tense. They're a little concerned. You know, what's going to go on? How's this, how long is this going to take to, to go away? And just that little act of love can have a big impact. So remember, the church is the body of Christ. And all the parts together, working together, 
can be a beautiful thing, and they're all needed. And in verse 22, Paul said, in fact, some parts of the body that seem weakest and least important are actually the most necessary. It could be right now, you're the most necessary person for somebody else, just because they need an act of kindness or a love that you can show them. So keep reading your Bible, keep using your gifts, stay connected with the church body, and uh, I'll talk to you again soon. I'm going to go home and build more connects.